Question number three I have, and it has been derived from the topic surface tension. For the viewers, I would like to tell you, those who are preparing for the future JE advance, surface tension is a property which is a sort of a bit favorite stuff of JE advanced question setter. So barring few exceptions, you normally have always a question that occurs from surface tension. So let's see here. It's a uniform capillary tube of inner radius small r. Now be careful because the radius of the tube has been given as this. Water rises to a height h. This is a very straightforward question. The surface tension has been given as this. And the angle of contact between the water and the wall, that's been given as theta. And ignore the mass of water in the meniscus. We need to see that there are four straightforward options that simply test your knowledge of the theoretical understanding. Like for a given material of the capillary tube, H decreases with increase in small r. Similarly, for a given material, this is the situation. Now, let me directly put the formula. The formula for the maximum or let's say the height. So that's 2 sigma cos theta as per the given notation r rho g, where r is the radius of the tube, sigma is the surface tension, theta the angle of contact. So first option seems perfectly correct. For a given material of the capillary tube, h decreases with increase in r. That's fine. With increase in r, h has to decrease. For a given material of the capillary tube, h is independent of sigma. That can't happen because h is depending on sigma. So this is false. If this experiment is performed in a lift going up with a constant acceleration, then H decreases. Yes, so in that case, because G becomes G plus A. So in that situation, H would be decreasing. And finally, D, H is proportional to contact angle theta. That's not valid because H is proportional to the entire cos theta, not only to angle theta. So option number D would be incorrect. Therefore, for this question, question number three, the correct option would come as option number A and option number C. These are the correct options. Straightforward, but yes, again, with this particular question, one thing is very true for the future aspirant that you need to focus on this particular topic. As I said, barring exceptions, you generally get questions from this topic. Right then, time to move for question number four. Question number four from electromagnetic induction and specifically the circuit part, the RL charging discharging circuit. Now it says in the figure below, let me show the figure because that's essential. Yes, so here's the figure here. This is RL circuit one, RL circuit another. Notice the thing, R, 2L, R, L. And here let me put that both the switches are closed at T equals to zero. Let me put that part. Both the switches are closed. And I is the current through this branch. Now here, let's go with the statement of the question. And it says, ignore the mutual inductance between the inductor. That's fine. The current I in the middle wire reaches its maximum magnitude I max at time t equals to tau. So tau is that time when the current in the middle wire is maximum. So you need to calculate that time. And together, the I max is also there. The current, which is the maximum one. So here is the situation. Say, this is RL and this is R2L. But notice one thing, that this circuit is an independent RL circuit with EMFV. And this is an independent RL circuit with, again, EMFV. But here, remember, the inductance is 2L. So let me just see the direction. If this is I1, quite obviously, this would be I2. So now it's very simple. This I is going to be I1 minus of I2, right? And we need to analyze the I. That at what time will that I be maximum? And what is the maximum value of that I? Okay, so this one is quite simple now. I1 is a regular one. I2 is also a regular one. So here, let's see. I'll be getting I is I1 minus of I2 
and I1 is going to be V by R, 1 minus E raised to the power minus of RT upon L, right? So that is I1 minus of I2, and minus would be V by R, 1 minus E raised to the power minus RT by, don't get confused with this, that's going to be 2L because the inductance there is 2L. Now this is a very simple one because the first part would get cancelled and you need to find the condition when the current would be maximum. So for that what we can write is there that I is maximum when there are straightforward technique di by dt equals to zero and when you solve that you would be getting this particular time. A simple calculation doesn't require much effort. And once you get this particular time, put this time here, you will be getting I max. And when you do that, you would be getting I max as V upon 4R. So for this particular question, question number four, the correct option would be option number B and option number D. All right, time to move for question number five. Let's see. 